All right, hello, uh, my name is Jonathan Newth. This is my video reflection number one, which is focused on the question of uh, what is user-centered design? Uh, now, I'll tell you, I came out of a uh, six-year career in something that has uh, nothing to do with des uh, user-centered design, uh, but this is just my take on uh, really what I think that it is, and it might change over the course of this class, obviously. but. To me, user-centered design is a model for design that allows the user themselves uh, to design uh, products and interactions indirectly through uh, the UI or the UX designer themselves. And um, that being said, it's really a model of design that demands that the, the designer put the user first, and, uh, and that really applies from the conception of the idea through the design process and to the release of the product. And something that really seems to me at least to go hand in hand with user-centered design that distinguishes it from traditional design methods um, is putting the user's feelings and feedback and even opinions um, above what the designer might consider to be logic. Because I know uh, just in my own experience when I design anything, um, you know, non-professionally, I always, you know, start with an idea, a kind of an overarching idea, a holistic view, and, and a layout that I think is logical that will work for whatever project I'm working on. But I think in user-centered design, uh, the designer has to be very flexible to realize that although we might start with an initial platform or layout or foundation, um, that can easily and really should actually change throughout the design process based on um, what the users are telling us, what the users are giving us as feedback. And I think that's really the key, um, that adaptability and flexibility and change throughout the process is, is what distinguishes user-centered design from traditional design methods. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, I hope that was clear, and uh, have a good day.